Hi guys, this is Monica. I am going to share with you a quick wig review. Being of a certain age, I remember when I was a lot younger that I used to wear my hair very similar to this one. I had short hair, longer on the sides, kind of very shaggy, a little bit longer in the back, tapered around the back of my head and around my ears. And I absolutely loved it. So when I received this wig for review from Wig Studio One, I took one look at it after I shook it and I put it on my head. I took one look at it and I said, oh my gosh, it's like walking down memory lane with my hair so let me just tell you what this is this is at, this is actually Kaylee by Tressalore and this is such a cute cute style you know there's something I think about a ready-to-wear wig you know you shake it you just put it on synthetic fibers it holds a shape wind snow all sorts of different conditions. I'm going to superimpose as I'm talking a clip of me outside. You can see the sun hitting on the wig. You can see it in the shade. And even though it was windy at times, this just holds its shape. It is so, so, so pretty. So this is basically a basic cap. There is no lace front. As you can see, so you're not going to be pulling this up off, at least not me. If I had a lace front, I would definitely, you could pull it up, but no, this is not. This is going to be sitting right here, basically, and you're going to be pulling the hair fibers in the front. It can go around the ears. This this is an average cap. As you can see, it fits me really good. comes right around, and I'm going to do a spin for you so you can see what the back looks like. Look at the sides. Not, not so cute. I think this is absolutely adorable. So once again, this is Kaylee by Tressalore. The color is Mimosa HL, and I think this is the most prettiest blend of colors. Uh, I see a little bit of blonde, a little bit of a light brown. There's a good blend. A little bit of darker, basically, by the roots, but not much at all. You have some strawberry in here, so I'm really seeing some honey colors or warmer blondes as well as some cooler shades. But this is just, I think, for me anyways, I just think this is a fun look. It is a very natural look. I love the darker fibers by the nape. I think that is just amazingly awesome. I love that look. You can tuck this. You can tuck this right behind your ears if you want. Of course, if you have earrings, you have to be careful. But you can tuck this right behind the ears if you want. I actually like this look. You can have it. Now, if you have gray on your temple, you might want to do a little bit of touch up like I do. But I've really pretty well done nothing to this. I've got one ear tucked, the other ear a little bit tucked. I've got them both forward. So cute. So, so cute. I'm going to superimpose the inside of the cap. I just want you to see that it is a basic cap here. No lace front and no monofilament. This is synthetic. The bangs run to be about six, a little over six inches. The crown is about 4.75 and the nape is 375. It's considered a shag style. I call it like a bob shag style. And um, yeah, a little bit wavy texture, not bone straight. There is some permities. You can feel it here. But, you know, this type of a style, I think you need the permatease. If this were to just fall flat, it, I don't think it would be half as becoming as it is. But, anyways, I thought this was so cute. I got so excited when I, um, when I got it that I actually did a TikTok wearing this wig showing different sunglasses. <laughs> That's how cute I thought it was. Again, this was sent to me complimentary from Wig Studio One. I did another review for this on their channel. If you have not, if you're into wigs and you have not checked out Wig Studio One's channel, please do. I'll make sure I link it below. Also, check out the Facebook group. They have over 14,000 people on their Facebook group, and that is just totally amazing. It is such a wonderful group to belong to because it is full of people sharing their ideas on, on which wigs they like better, how to wear them, how to style them, just different tips. I think it's 
fantastic. So I am thrilled to be a guest review for Wig Studio One, and I'm thrilled that I can share this with you guys. So I hope you like it. I'll leave all the information below. Trip down memory lane. I'm wearing Kaylee today, and I think she's cool.